YouTube geocentric prick Latch Mandev recently joined in a conversation in which fellow geocentric tit Razorback3000 stated, I'm sure if the sun took 48 hours to make up one day, the heliocentrics would have us travelling at 132,000 miles per hour, not to mention rotating at over 2,000 miles per hour. Now, I'm going to let slip the fact that the Earth's orbital motion only affects the yearly cycle, and thus has nothing to do with the rotation of the Earth around its axis. The fun bit, however, came next, when self-professed mathematics and geometry whiz Latch Mandev, who's yet to answer a geometric problem that teenagers can answer, let alone provide any geometric proof for his moronic claims about the sunrise and sunset disproving a non-geocentric universe, even though he's been provided with the geometric proof that this isn't the case, decided to wade in, after I'd pointed out how idiotic Razorbacks in aim ramblings were. Latch had this to say. No, a 48 hour long day would mean that the Earth rotates slower if the false heliocentric pseudoscience was true. Well, thanks for pointing out what I'd already pointed out, Latch. Way to keep up with the conversation. He continued, but it's not true. Well, whether or not you think it's true doesn't matter, Latch. We're just talking about the fact that Razorback is incorrect in asserting that the Earth would be rotating at 2,000 miles per hour if a day was 48 hours long. My favourite bit came next. And since the Earth neither revolves around the Sun, nor does it rotate around its axis, therefore it follows that a 48 hour long day would mean that the super dense firmament stroke ether would rotate twice faster than it actually does at this time. Yes, that's right. According to self-proclaimed maths and geometry whiz Latch Mandev, if you rotate something twice as fast, it takes twice as long to complete a revolution. Well, Latch, let's test this out, shall we? I'm going to rotate this camera around this ball so that one rotation takes four seconds. Here we go. Now, I'm going to rotate the camera around the ball twice as fast. If you're correct, Latch, it would take eight seconds. Shall we see what happens? Oh, look at that Razorback 3000 and Latch Mander. It took two seconds, meaning it took half the time, and not twice as long like you both claimed it should. I think it's hardly a wonder how people whose grasp of basic mathematics, geometry, and even reality is so off the charts f**k end up believing in the reality-defying bullshit of geocentrism.